the first spook that the Ghostbusters successfully captured has been added to the ranks of Diamond Select's Ghostbusters line. Joining Quitting Time Ray and Janine Melnitz, this toy is a great representation of the Green Goober and possibly the best figure in this wave of Ghostbusters toys. The packaging is identical to the other figures in their previous waves, giving you an enormous window to check out the figure and show off all of its accessories on the front. And on the back, we get a bio about Old Onion Head, along with some other images of the rest of the toys in this wave. To be fair, this bio is less backstory on Slimer, as it is more so describing what he does in the movies, but considering how canonically mysterious Slimer is in the movies, that is easily forgiven. Out of the box, Slimer looks perfect. He's much smaller than the other figures, as he should be since he isn't scale with everyone else in this line. The best part about all Slimer figures are the butts, and this one is like something you would see on a Ren and Stimpy episode. There is great paint application with this figure, from his teeth to his fingernails and all of the dirt and grime on his body. If a ghost was ever greasy, Slimer would be that ghost. Slimer comes with not one, but two additional heads, meaning that you get a total of three Slimer heads with different expressions. One has a closed mouth, the other open, and the last stuffed with hot dogs from when he pops out of the hot dog cart during the scene where the containment unit explodes. The faces pop in and out very easily to the body, so you can customize him whenever you want with no worries about damaging any joints. Especially since Slimer has no neck joint, it's really easy to take these on and off. Slimer also comes with a stand to help him float in the air, but getting him to stay on that stand was very difficult for me. This may be an issue with my figure only and not other people's, but it was a big problem with me, and considering how important it is for this figure to be floating in the air above the others, that makes it a tough sell for me as a loose collector. And finally, here is Slimer's diorama piece. Slimer is arguably my favorite figure in this third wave of Diamond Select Ghostbuster figures, despite that issue with the base. The three faces are a really cool addition to finally have for Slimer, and the only thing that would have made this better would be some food for him to gobble up. But luckily, that's what miniature stores are for. Diamond Select did an awesome job with this figure, and it fits this line perfectly. So if you're looking for somebody to slime your other characters, you better get this slimer while you still can.